Breaking news is we have early updates on Austin Forkner following his incredible crash while leading the 250 main event in Arlington, as well as a small update on Jalik Swole. Let's take a look at what we know as part of this Roto Motor React brought to you by O'Neill. In case you missed the race on Saturday, Austin Forkner again looked to be in 2019 form, grabbing a great start and leading every lap of the first 13 minutes of the 250 main event at AT&T Stadium before disaster struck with just over two minutes left on the clock. With the Pro Circuit Kawasaki rider coming up short in the rhythm, resulting in one of the most devastating crashes I have ever seen in the series. Austin eventually DNF'd the race, but was seen briefly by the camera crew standing up and alert talking with the Alpine Stars medical unit. Although everyone feared the worst, it seems Austin did escape the worst of it following an update from his father, Mike, who revealed in a now deleted post on Instagram, man, oh man, what a sport. The highs are high and the lows are pretty low. So proud of Austin for overcoming the adversity and setbacks that he has dealt with these last few years. I'm confident this is just a bump in the road and Austin will be back on top again. Austin's CT scan on his head came back good, fractured L3 and L4 and back, but no surgery has to heal on its own. He has a broken scapula, which will heal on its own, so no surgery. They have been discharged from hospital and heading back to California. Thank you for checking on Austin. On a side note, Austin said one of his contacts came out of his eye halfway through the race. Maybe that played a part in misjudging the double, not making excuses, but I feel it played a part. It is unclear why Mike has decided to edit the Instagram post now leaving out all of the bits about his injury as well as the contact lens information. As someone who wears glasses and contacts from time to time, I cannot imagine having a lens fall out during a race. It is very rare in my case to have issues like that, but having a goggle lens so close to your eye, it would be trapped in there with you could possibly have forced Austin to ride with one eye closed, get stuck to the goggle lens itself, or even worse, if it was freely bouncing around the entrapment of the goggles. Either way, it is good to see Austin suffered no significant injury to his head, and although he is yet again entering a long recovery period for the back injury, his ability to stand up on the side of the track speaks to the toughness and grit of the Missouri native. A small update, or rather non-update, on Jalik Swole, who took a nasty spill early in the 250 main after contact with Max Ansi coming out of the sand section. Swole ultimately did not finish the race, but did talk about the incident on Instagram, saying, well, was an okay day going heat race, just rode tight, went backwards, as what it is. Main, I spun off the gate which put me mid-pack but honestly felt really good and loose ready to battle and unfortunately me and Max hit right on the takeoff. I felt I had a wheel on him going into the pocket but honestly just a race incident. We'll do what I need to do to come back quickly. I'm feeling hungry. Obviously, he does not specifically address his health, but ending it with, quote, will do what I need to do to come back quickly, alludes that he will be out for at least a single weekend, but at least it doesn't appear to be a huge incident that will cost him his entire season. No update yet on Christian Craig or Kevin Morans and Evan Ferry, who both missed the night show due to injury. Kevin had a big get-off during free practice that kept him out of the night show, while Craig deals with an arm injury that has been plaguing him all season. Of his arm, Christian said, bummed to say I will be missing the race today in Dallas. I've been dealing with elbow pain that's progressively getting worse since the season started. I've tried to push through it, but unfortunately it's to the point where I can't hang on after a few laps. Going to get some scans done and see what's going on. Although this sounds like the 28 will miss some considerable time, hopefully it is not the end of the season. CC is currently on his second of a two-year deal with Rockstar Husqvarna and will likely be looking for a new ride in 2025, and I'm sure his results thus far are not what he was hoping for during a contract year. We are also waiting for updates on Justin Barsha, who had a crash in practice and was way off the pace all day. Stay tuned to Rotomoto and subscribe to the channel so you get notified of any future updates like this. Thanks as always for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.